Here I stand before you, an emptied vessel, pleading with the muses for inspiration and fusions. I'm never careful what I wish for. Oedipus Rex sits in the captain's chair wearing a gold shirt and a visor that painfully injects data projections directly into his visual cortex. Antigone, in front of her small navigation console, feels her brother's presence through the force, the stars whizzing by as they fly back towards the dawn of humanity, when they will crawl out of their crash landing crater to tell the oracle their tale. Achilles' shield is being smuggled through a wormhole in a Firefly-class ship, to be dropped off near a small tribe on the planet of the apes. To the sound of a monolithic drumbeat. A descendant of Paul Muad'Dibs enjoys brunch at the restaurant at the end of the universe. He listens with half an inner ear to Muad'Dib and both Agamemnon's debating ethics while stabbing his still life soup with his spork. Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad mosey into a saloon where a man dances to bullets for wearing boots whose label makes them unfashionably ahead of their time. The bell rings, ding, ding. Mahatma Dalsim bursts out of his corner with his arms raised, extending them to strike Tyler Durden in the mouth. Susan Storm cheers, then disappears again. Crash Override finds himself standing on a stockpile of trash, begging for his childhood back and room service because there is no spoon. Wonderland is being devoured by the nothing. The Cheshire cat throws his piercings into the dead hatter's hat, pulling out a white rabbit while the Red Queen feeds Edmund Turkish delight from a box labeled Eat Me. The dragons as old as the earth rise to Wagner's right of the Valkyries, ridden by an army of green paladins holding their heads in their hands, ready to drop them on an unsuspecting Germany. The Nazgul rotate their rings to update the Enigma codes. Alan Turing walks his one ring into the depths of Mordor. Brutus, in his blood-stained red riding hood, is tied to a chair. He and shouts, what's up, Doc? As Dr. House rips away his mask to reveal Claudius, who's sure he would have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Here I stand before you, and what I have to say is that we are all made up of stories. We are all crossover fan fiction of one form or another. Our stories demand to be shared, evolved, mixed up, mashed up, recombined, folded, remolded, and told again. There's no such thing as original, you silly goose, who can lay golden eggs. Story time is relative, reflexive, reversible, and true to you.